Hey y'all and welcome to Our Great House Vlogs. I am in my bathroom because I am going to be showing you some of the products I got from the last day of the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. What? I just received my box yesterday and um, inside are some products that I want to use today. And so let's just kind of dive into it. This is not looking well. Okay. Mm. Let's not talk about it until I start pulling stuff out. So the first thing that I purchased was some more of the Tarte Maracuja Oil. I was calling it Marajuca for a long time, but it's Maracuja. Like, Barracuda. You know that song from Heart? No? Okay, just me. Anyways, I bought the full-size Maracuja Oil. It is, I don't know how many ounces. 0.5 milliliters, 1.7 fluid ounces. So it looks like this, and it's it's an oil that you put on your face, and I love it. I've used it before. I actually got it like in an Ipsy bag or maybe Sephora box or something, and um, I can't remember where I first got it, but uh, this is what the the bottle looks like. It's pretty. And so I use that every morning, but I ha I've been out for a long time, so I haven't used it in a while. Actually, more than a month because um, I've been in the house a month and I haven't had it here at all. They also had this Tarte Skin Care High Performance Naturals Maracuja Magic. It comes with a sponge, but the reason I bought it is because it is a travel size, and we do travel. And... So I thought, well, that would be fun to have, but it also, it, so it came with the, the travel size is what I wanted out of it, but um, it also had a sponge, and I'm not exactly sure how to use the sponge, but isn't that cute? It's like a little tiny one. So um, I'm not really sure, you, I mean, you put the oil on the sponge and then you sponge. So, the Power Duo is all you need for radiant glow and a seamless foundation application. Dampen the sponge and use it to apply a few drops of maracuja oil, which will help smooth, balance, and brighten the appearance of your skin. Finish by using the same sponge to apply your favorite foundation. You'll notice it glides on perfectly and lasts even longer. So, this is the beauty sponge. Okay. I mean, but do you have to clean it every day then? I guess I'll find out. It, let's see how soft this sponge is. Actually, it's soft. You know how sometimes the beauty sponges, I don't know if I have one. Um, okay, ooh, this one cracked. I guess, can you see? Look, this one cracked. Weirdo. Okay, so that's not any good. And uh, <laughs> put that in the recycle bin. This one is a Real Techniques one. And I have another one, a fresh one. But um, this one obviously needs to be cleaned. So maybe I will use this this morning. Who knows? We'll set it over here. The next thing that I got is, oh, I got some freebies. <laughs> freebies are always good. Open, open me. Okay, I will. Maybe I needed to start working out before I open this box. I don't know. This is the a splurge of supercharged hydration clinique moisture surge. So it's a sample of that. Sample. And a sample of Boss Hugo Boss Bottled Tonic. An invigorating blend of crisp ingredients. Boss Bottled Tonic is a bright twist on our classic favorite. Created for the man of today. I guess this is for Marvin. <laughs> hey honey, I got you a present. Then, what else? Oh, my free gift for purchasing, so I purchased two eyeliners. Obviously, I, well, I could use both today. But one is brown because I like, I, I get down with brown. But one is brown, and it's a felt tip liner because I love felt tip liners. And uh, mine are getting kind of dried out and they're not applying as easily. And um, this is a plum colored one, and I thought that might be fun with my green eyes. We shall see. Maybe I'll try it today. I also purchased, oh, because I purchased those, I only got one of these, which is kind of annoying, but okay, whatever. Um, because it, Ulta Beauty said, oh, if you purchase one of these, you get a free gift. Well, I purchased two, but I only got one free gift, so kind of got gypped on that, but that's okay. Because I'm really not into lip gloss anyway. But I got Glitter Magic Shimmer Shifting Lip Color. 
It's not staying in my house. I don't, I don't really like lip gloss, but I thought it was a pretty color. This looks redder than I thought. I thought it was going to be more of a, um, here's the color. I thought it was going to be more of a mauve, not mauve, plum color, kind of mauve. So it's not. I also purchased a Bare Minerals Gen Nude Powder Blush and the color is, is the color called Gen Nude? No, the color is called Call Me Blush. But this picture in here looks really pinky, but the swatch on the lady's arm that I thought, hey, her arm color looks kind of like my arm color. Um, well, yeah, I think it'll work. But it's, I was gonna go by the, you had me at Merlot or something, whatever it's called, something about Merlot. This is the color and it's called Call Me Blush by Bare Minerals. Yes, I'm getting my nails done today. So, um, I thought that would be like a nice, not like, wow, she's got blush on. That kind of thing. Oh, there's, there's another sample in here. Oh no, it's the sample that went into the Boss Cologne. Oh, there's two? I got two samples, well. They really want Marvin to smell good, I guess. I don't know. That goes into recycle, recycle. Now, the thing that I was really wanting and the reason I waited till the last day is because this was an online purchase only. And it is a palette my daughter said I should get. My daughter that just started her beauty channel, you know. Uh, she said I should get this one. It would be good for me. I was like, come out. And it is, wow, that's a lot of wasteful packaging, just saying. But it is the Lorac palette. It is the Lorac palette. Nice, pretty colors. You might see me doing like, okay, today, folks, I'm going to be using just a little bit of this color right here, dabbing in, and then swishy swipe. Yeah, Kat's going to have to teach me a look with this one, but um, I really like the colors. So I'm looking forward to, I'm going to save this actually until Kat gets here and she's going to help me create a look with that. I don't wear a whole lot of eye makeup and um, I need to get a better primer for my eyes. But anyway, that's another story. Who cares? So that's what I got in that. I'm going to go get my shoes on. I'm going to run. Oh, this came with an extra bonus behind the scenes eye primer. I was just saying I need like something for my eyes. Thanks, Lorac. Uh, it's like they were listening to me. That's so weird. But this is the Pro Palette 3 that I got. Lorac Los Angeles. A mini behind the scenes eye primer. That's what this is. This is the mini behind the scenes eye primer that came free with my palette. Okay, this palette, man, I need some makeup on. No, I'm a natural beauty. I'm fine. Actually, I could go outside like this. I don't care. I don't care because I'm comfortable with myself. So, yeah, I would feel like I do want to put on a little bit of makeup, but I don't have to, to be like, oh, don't, don't look at me. Don't see me. No, I'm not like that. So this palette has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, oh, I guess the whole bottom row is kind of shimmery. I'm not really into shimmers. I'm into mattes and nudes. So this palette, the whole, if there's two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16 shades. That's the ring doorbell. 16 shades and eight are shimmers, which I'm not a fan of shimmer, but maybe if I just put like a little shimmer, you know, shimmer, shimmer, shimmer. Um, that's shimmy, not shimmer. Okay, so that's what I got today. And that's what I'm working with. Let's see if this even smells good. Stop her off. I mean, it smells fine. I won't mind if he wears it. Maybe I'll wear it. And then people go, oh, you kind of smell good. I'll be like, yeah, I do. All right, that's what I got. Let me get finished getting ready. I'm just wearing, I'm getting my nails done today. That's, that's the whole plan for today. And so let me make sure I have nothing else on my calendar. I have nothing on my calendar today. So I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm wearing a t-shirt and some yoga pants although I don't do yoga, never have. And I'm gonna go put on some shoes and then I'm gonna head to do a couple errands, go to the office, go to my nail appointment, maybe go back to the office, and then I'm gonna come home and clean up some more. I, I made some good progress last night. You guys saw, I made some good progress. 
proud of myself. All right, guys, I'll see you in a bit. So, um, wow, that, that looks like a little intense. Hmm, I look like I'm flushed, like, but not in a good way. <laughs> like, oh, are you ill? Are you Ellen? Um, so I, this is the color, that, that free lip color that I told you guys that I probably, I don't know, I don't wear lip gloss normally because I don't like the stickiness of it, but this dries down matte. So that's fine. Again with the door. Anyways, um, yeah, the, then it freaks out the cat and he just jumped away. Um, so I have um, this, um, there's people outside my house and they can see me. Oh wow, this is kind of intense, guys. This is, I don't have mascara on, so that'll finish out the look, hopefully, but man, that, that blush went on different than I thought it was gonna go on. I look like I'm flushed, like I'm sick. And so I'm not sure if I'm gonna, I don't really, it's not, I don't know about this. Also, this is the free lip gloss. You guys know I don't do lip gloss because it um, is sticky and then my hair gets stuck in it. It's like, ugh, gross and stuff. So, um, the cat just came back in the closet. Um, but this dries down matte. But this is, I wear red, but when I put this on, I was like, whoa, that's, wow, that's some color. I don't know, it just felt like, more like, oh, like that. So, I'm not normally a, oh, like that kind of lipstick wear. You know what I'm saying? So, um, do you, do you need some help? Captain. You need some help with anything, or just checking stuff out? Just checking everything out, huh? Long time no talk, I got a hot chocolate. Headed to Office Max to get some folders and then to work. Okay, so far this morning, I have um, dropped off the payment for the HOA meeting because the facility that we use now, you have to pay for. And I'm gonna head to, that's all I've done. I mean, you saw what I did earlier. I unboxed that stuff that I got from Ulta and put on a little bit of makeup. Have a nail appointment at 11.30, so I'm gonna head and get those files because we didn't have file, come, scooch bag, scooch bag. Uh, we didn't have file folders at the office, so I'm gonna go get some, and then <coughs> I'm gonna um, uh, go to the, I'm gonna go buy some from Office Max, I'm gonna go to the office, gonna set up the files, then I'm gonna go to my nail appointment, and <coughs> I'm gonna have an awesome day. <laughs> hey, everybody. Hey, y'all. Heading to the nail salon now. I'm running late because I was on the phone with some at the salon and um, I'm getting a pedicure and I'm getting my nails done because they are needing it. I come about every three weeks and um, they give you water and it's a nice place to just come and relax. And they're showing Chip and Joanna Gaines on the TV. Can you see it? There's like big TVs all around. So I can watch TV while I'm relaxing. I'm sitting in the Chicken Express line and Marvin's getting a two-piece white mashed potatoes with gravy. He likes extra gravy, so hold that thought. And he wants coleslaw. So I'm getting the two-piece, no, four-piece tender. I'm getting mashed potatoes gravy on the side because I'm gonna give that to Marvin so he has extra gravy. And I'm getting coleslaw and I'm getting jalapenos. So that's what's for dinner. And not much has happened. I went and got my nails done. Oh, I didn't show you my nails. They turned out pretty good. Uh, I went for, I forget the color number, um, but it's a Gen, I want to say Gen X, but it's Next Gen. I think is the nail powder dip stuff. And last time I got color number 169, and this is number 125, which looked the, almost like the same kind of pink, but this is pinkier. But I like it. it it's still a natural looking color spring color if you will and marvin is sanding my bookcase for me and so as soon as he gets done with that then he can paint it white but he's not painting the part where my dad wrote my name because i said don't touch that i don't care if it looks old and just don't touch that my dad wrote my name there painted it on there and so uh he's also sold one of our our um benches that we had 
and he only sold it for 20 bucks and I didn't want to tell him it was worth more than 20 bucks <laughs> but hey he sold it he got it out of the garage that's the main part but I was like seriously you probably could have got 50 for it because I it's more than that when I bought it but anyway it doesn't fit in the house we don't have room for it because we have a bench mud bench area already so we don't have to have and that's why we had the bench in the old house is because we didn't have a mud bench area so but he's clearing out the garage which is great he's getting project done which is awesome so nothing to complain about there I got my nails and toes done and I got some stuff done at the office and I think I'm meeting a friend tomorrow, but she hasn't responded back. She wanted to meet today, but I couldn't meet today because I had some other things to do this morning. And so she hasn't responded back yet. I keep checking though. If not, I'll call her if I have her number. I think I just have her Instagram stuff. But anyway, whatever. We'll connect. Um, what else is going on? Not much. We have no plans for tonight. So I'm going to bust out bust out some cleaning in the house to get ready for um, the, uh, my daughter and her husband coming next week, Wednesday. I'm super excited about that. So that's all that's going on now. If anybody wants to come over and help me clean, feel free. Um, I'm also going to do some editing tonight. I've started to block myself out a calendar and really going to get to it. So here comes my food. All right, thanks. You separated the gravy, right? Perfect. There you go. Thank you. Okay. You have a good day. You too. He said he did the gravy on the side. We shall see. <laughs> I should check before I go, but I don't feel like it. So, if they didn't do the gravy on the side, then I'll just scoop off the top layer and get that tomorrow. All right, let's go home now. It's actually not bright, bright enough for sunglasses, but also it's kind of bright for sunglasses. So, I'm wearing them because I look cute. Another late night. It's 11. Oh, it's only 11.22. I thought it was 11.30. <laughs> so I'm about to go to bed. And didn't get quite as much done. Oh, I did get, look over here. I got the bags made. So I just put a little bunny face on there. And then I'm going to glue one of these big Cotton balls, pom poms, pom poms. So I'm gonna glue one to the, the back, just like right above, just like, you know, right there or whatever. And still have some more things to fill inside. Got candy, I'm still trying to decide if I'm gonna do eggs inside there because those are already pretty full or have them somehow get eggs, I don't know. Got to figure that out. But um, I did get the the counters cleaned off, except for the stuff that's for Easter, which is fantastic. And that one over there is completely cleaned off, with, except for the Easter stuff, which is fantastic. And so now I've just got got the big island, five by nine island. It's actually five foot one inch by nine feet. So need to do that and then of course I have these boxes here but this is recycle this is um, what I'm giving away to the granddaughters that is goes into like it's decor for other holidays that I need to empty and that's goes into the garage because it's the Easter bin <sighs> so I did get some stuff done today so I feel good about that and uh, I'm going to go to bed now. So, guys, um, so, y'all, I hope you have an awesome evening. Don't forget to be kind, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.